thumbs up what we are going to do Cheers, is, Sam. Uh, we are going to get you to descend down to 5,000 feet. Now in the bottom left hand corner, you might want to move that a little bit because your, um, your webcam blocks it, so just lift it up a little bit. Dude, so what, 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 what? Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so in the bottom left of that screen, you see there is a knob like we were using before that says out. Yep. Now on that, I want you to scroll back down. To oh, hang on, what have I just done? Have I pressed something? Because I'm now. Oh, hello. The, I've lost all speed. The engine stopped. <laughs> Hon honestly, I haven't touched anything. Yeah, no, I've realised that. Your engine has stopped. Right, do me a favour. Get rid of the screen that's in front of you and click on the screen on the right. Right. There is a reason that your engine has stopped. Now, we've spoken about this before as to, you know, reasons why a jet engine would stop mid-flight. And um, it's there's there's <laughs> only really two things that will stop an engine. Yeah, fuel. Yeah. Or throw um, a rod out the side. <laughs> um, birds is another one. Ah, oh, that'd be about right. So no, it's not a bird strike. You run out of fuel, me old fruit. What? So if you look on the, uh, the left hand <laughs> side, you see you've got a row of instruments. It says N1, EGT, N2, and then right at the bottom you'll see one that says fuel quantity gal. And you ah. see the two little triangles on that are sat right Did, at the bottom. Have you like sorted this that uh, happened or? Uh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I might have spotted it slightly earlier on in the stream and thought it'd be fun to watch. Oh. But we're going to see how far we can glide this now and then we're going to have a little bit of fun. If you so could get me to were... Silverstone, <laughs> that'd be mega. Right, so click on the, the right hand screen to get rid of it. Oh my and uh, God. look down to where your autopilot controls oh, are. Oh, hang on. Now it's falling out of the sky. So, turn your autopilot off. Stall? It ain't running, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think you might have just turned it back on again. I know, eh? Oh, my, oh yeah, my God. Judging by the way it's climbing up. Yeah, oh, all oh, this, this is... um. Hmm. No, don't, don't panic. There you go, look. Jobs are good, right. people. So just just move that GPS a little bit. I'm intrigued at how many miles we've got to glide to get to Silverstone. What that one you mean? Yeah, move that one over. Oh, three miles to go. Right, if you press Shift and four and look out in front of the aircraft, then uh, you might even be able to see Silverstone from where we are. There. It's literally right. there. So. Go back inside the aircraft. <clears throat> yeah. Right, now I want you to steer to the right and basically follow that pink line, but I want you to lower the nose a little bit because we're going really slow and otherwise we're just going to drop out the sky. So push the nose down a little bit. You, you can't write this, you really couldn't. <laughs> it's going to get even better in a minute. You'll love this. Oh, great. And it, it, we could only do what we're about to do in this plane. Sorry if I <laughs> sorry if I don't read chat, people. I have been stitched right up here. This is going to be an absolute blinder. I actually thought this would happen a little bit later on in stream. This, <laughs> but uh, that's because right. you knew I didn't know where the fuel gauges were or how to read them. Right. So under your right thumb, oh. there should be uh, there should be a hat switch. Yeah. And if you remember, we set that up so you've got trim because it looks like you're having to fight the aircraft at the moment. So use that Big time. forward just so that we the nose comes down a little bit and you're not having to fight that. Now, guys, the question is, do we still try and get Jay to land on the hangar straight or do we go for plan B? Let me know. I don't even want to know what plan B is. Uh, it's a simple Forget one. the parachute. Where's the alcohol? Yeah. I knew I was going to be stitched up by Gav, you see. Right. Plan B. Okay, Doghouse has called it. He can right, prepare. Just, just look up in the roof for me for a second, Jay. In my room? Yeah, in, no, no, no. <laughs> in the plane. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't like that lever. Oh, right. I don't like any of that, by the looks of that. Pull, pull the big red lever. What, the one in the middle? The one in the middle. Click it and pull it for me. Yeah. What's happening now? Because I can see... The... What the... 
<laughs> right, now press shift and four and look outside for me. What the? Now I knew we were going to be flying with you tonight, Jay, so I chose this aircraft and the reason that what I chose is... this aircraft... What is... Oh my god, <laughs> the parachute! <laughs> so this, this is a Cirrus. <laughs> Cirrus has a has a system called caps. How cool is that? So if you get yourself into trouble when you're flying a Cirrus, <laughs> you can reach up and pull that uh, pull that big red handle that's in the roof above you, and magically you've got a parachute. The funny thing is, when I first came out on view, I thought, why is there a bit of string on the top of the plane? <laughs> and then I had to look up. So brilliantly, we're not going to be going anywhere very quickly. Look down below you and let's see just how close to, to Silverstone we're actually going to land. So can I actually still direct the plane then or not? No. Ah. Oh. Where's the scissors? <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> uh, that's why if I ever could afford to buy a plane, I'd buy a Cirrus. I 100% agree with you there, Rob. Right, so... We don't even need one in not, your backpack. We're not going to be able to make it to Silverstone, but however, it looks like we might be able to play a couple of rounds of golf where we're going to land. There you go, look. <laughs> I can show it to you. There you go, look. What do you mean, oh dear God, Aaron? Look how safe it is, it. Oh, you watch land in the road and get hit by a lorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, I mean, just to make life a little bit more uh, sophisticated, because we're completely under control now, if you press G, the landing gear will go down, and maybe that'll make things a little bit softer. Go, look. Yeah, because if I was in the plane, I would definitely think about landing gear. <laughs> <laughs> if I was falling out of the sky. Well, I suppose we're not falling, to be fair. Well, we are falling, we're just falling gracefully. Gonna turn, uh, if you're alright, the GPS off, because I don't think I'm gonna need yeah. it. <laughs> well, look, we, we are actually gonna go it. in a field. We're not going in trees. Did you say this is X Plane 11? That's X Plane 11, mate. Yeah, X Plane 11, mate. You'll, you'll see, Rob, pretty much everyone who streams any flight sim will always use Flight Sim X as the... Uh, Look as at the, that. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, Gav? Um, <laughs> <laughs> my parachute didn't work. And just to let everyone know, it has come up, Sam, would I like to start a new flight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. That uh, is broken, Graham, you're right. Oh my dear. 